you're gonna set off on the the path of doing tech and music. So really the only thing that was important in my family was that you learn how to play music. I got a guitar when I was like three, four. Okay. But yeah, I got the computer when I was like five. And uh, for me, like in the beginning, it was really all about games, um, just fun playing. From that point, I, I kind of realized like, hey, these games are boring. How hard would it be to try to fix the game? Yeah. Um, and so I started coding games uh, when I was like seven or eight or something like okay. that. It's kind of amazing that you've been on this trajectory, yeah. you know, your whole life. Yeah, I've never had a normal job. When I grew up, like, I didn't realize how you made money. Starting something yourself or investing money or like, that was just a totally foreign concept. Outside of Silicon Valley, Sweden has the highest per capita number of unicorns, which are startups valued over $1 billion. There's a tension that comes with all this new money and fame. Like much of Scandinavia, Sweden operates under a cultural code of conduct known as Jantalaw. It's a philosophy that demands people not think too highly of themselves. I was wondering if people recognize you out on the street. Um, yeah, I mean, they do, but because this is like Sweden, no one really comes up, <laughs> except if it's like 10 p.m. and they've had a beer or two. Cut to 2016, and this way of living finds itself in conflict with tech millionaires boozing it up at clubs and hyping their tight little apps. Eck knows the situation as well as anyone. You know, by the time you were 21, I mean, you were a millionaire, essentially, yeah. right? Because you had sold a couple businesses yeah. and, and yeah. done very well for yourself. Yeah. And then it sounds like you went through sort of a period where, I don't know if showing off is the right word, but you were living Oh yeah, going to clubs and, yeah. and uh, I was driving off. fast cars. And <laughs> when I look back to it, I'm sort of almost ashamed uh, of myself because it was like, you know, it was um, uh, today I realized that it was a huge sort of period of insecurity. Um, it was a lot of fun, don't yeah. get me wrong, um, <laughs> but uh, it, it's, it's like not who I am. And I never know, like as an outsider, if we make too much of all this, but this yeah. idea that um, you don't want to stand out in, yeah. in Sweden or Scandinavia, yeah. and you do stand out when you yeah. when you yeah. start making billions of yeah. dollars, yeah. it's kind of hard yeah. to... Uh... Yeah. <laughs> but it is changing. I mean, if you walk around in the city now, like I see like Ferraris, Lamborghinis, like there's quite a lot of that here, which is not really yeah. part of the fabric of how it used to be. <laughs> 